Over the past several weeks, we've heard a lot about BYU, specifically all the accusations from Duke female volleyball player Rachel Richardson that there were racial slurs yelled at her during the BYU game by BYU fans. Mainstream media jumped on it. Mainstream media pushed this lie, and it turns out it was completely fabricated. Well, now that we have some actual hateful things coming out against BYU players and fans, the media somehow is stunningly silent. Utah Governor blasts Oregon fans for chanting, fuck the Mormons. Utah Governor Spencer Cox accused Oregon's fans of religious bigotry after a large section of students began chanting, fuck the Mormons, during Saturday's BYU-Oregon game. Religious bigotry alive and celebrated in Oregon. And we'll listen to this a little bit. I think it pulls it up here. Yeah. The Mormons! Now, listen, that was probably like fucking 20, 30 people or it's something like so... that right here, right? Probably 20 or 30 people, uh, far more, infinitely more than actually said any racial slurs to Rachel Richardson. Yeah, uh, because that would be zero. Exactly, right. that would <laughs> right. be zero. However, uh, it, it's interesting that there's no outcry. There's no outcry that they need to do something. It's just a couple people. Obviously, religious people have a problem with it. I think this kind of thing uh, you're you're going to find in sporting events. People try to take every little thing they can and use it against the opposing fan base. That's right. pretty normal. Uh, I wouldn't want my religion mocked like that. I also probably wouldn't get too upset about it if it did. Uh, but you cannot help but look at how the media has treated BYU over the past several weeks. But now they're silent when you have actual video evidence of something like this saying, fuck the Mormons, fuck your religion interesting how that works well it's the hypocrisy of the situation it's what we always talk about do i have a problem with this no but this is this sports is all about shit talking it, it, it's about a lot if you think this is the worst thing that's happened at a sporting event you don't know sports um in fact the players on the field especially on bas in basketball those guys say the most horrific things to each other just to get into their head that's what it's all about like is fans will come up with a chant, and if they find out that there's something that triggers one of the star players or something, that they'll make even a bigger deal of it. That's just the the that's what sports has always been about: shit talking and getting into your opponent's head. But it's about how the media weaponizes something, and the fact that they weaponize something that didn't even happen. But if that if those chants. If there would have been one person that chanted something that goes against the media narrative, it would be all over ESPN. It would be all over mainstream media. There would be all of this stuff going on, and it would be painting a negative narrative about straight white males probably or something like that. But this happened. It doesn't fit the narrative, and no one's really talking about it. It's just interesting what, what, how that all works out. What if they have been chanting, fuck the Muslims? I was about to say yes. that. There you they go, go ahead, right John. there. ESPN, MSNBC, CNN would have jumped all over it. Yep. All over it. Now, if it was probably a bunch of uh, black people saying F the Muslims, maybe they would have not said anything. But imagine you have white people saying F the Muslims. Boy, they would have jumped all place. over it. Yep. Yeah. And this is why you can't trust the media. The media is the enemy of the people, whether it's sports media, whether it's the news media, uh, whether it's the entertainment media. They are the enemy of the people because their job is to uh, create a false narrative from any little thing they can find. Or if there's not even something they can find, they'll just run with an invented story to say it. And then when they're proven wrong, they'll go, well, this is still a problem. What's a problem? Your fake story? It it's insane. 